Hello and welcome to this Evil Stripper Tastic edition of Hillbilly the DVD Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the low budget independent film Stiff. Stiff is one of these low budget independent films, man. Got a little bit of a pedigree. Written by Devin O'Leary. He's been in a bunch of movies. Directed by Billy Garbarina. He's been involved in a bunch of movies. They was involved in all kinds of shit. Well, they finally teamed up. Devin wrote it. Billy directed it. And man, is it fucking a good one. Stiff tells the story of three bank robbers who do nothing but rob banks and hang out in strip clubs all day looking at titties. On their latest robbery, they get the shit, their getaway car is late, whatever, it shows up. They're driving away to go to open up the money they got from the bank and boom, the blue dye flies all over. And these motherfuckers, I mean it's everywhere, on their faces, in their mouths, on the windshield. They can't see shit, so they wreck and they die. So anyway, these motherfuckers are dead. The cops get involved, they start shaking down everybody who was friends with them, everybody who knew them. They go to shake down Chloe the stripper, because she knew Frank, she was having sex with him. And you know, they try to pump her for information, did you know these guys, blah blah blah, whatever. Not too much comes out of it, you know, the cop, he can't shake Chloe down too much, even though, you know, he kind of got the hot throw already, because she's a good looking woman and everything. But anyway, she, they go their separate ways, the cop, he goes, he's fucking all grumbly and shit, he's like a hard boiled detective, always pissed off and shit. Chloe, turns out she's like a kind of like an evil, I don't know what you call it, devil, demon worshipping, witch type of person. She leads this coven of goth kids. They get the bodies, they get them from the, the mortuary. She goes in, turns out the mortuary guy, play, actually played by Devin O'Leary in his cameo. Turns out he's like some little, I don't know, he got like a dog collar on, she's in control of him. She goes in, she blows him, makes him steal the fucking bodies for her. They do a big ritual, they bring the three bank robbers back to life, and they're like, you know, it's, it's a good scene, man. These fuckers, they wake up, they're, they're, they're not like too fucked up at this point, but they're, I mean, these motherfuckers are obviously dead. They wake up, they're all stiff and shit, they, they don't even know that they're dead. And then she has to explain, hey, you motherfuckers dying and all this shit, I brought you back to life. They don't know what to do, they gotta hide out, everybody thinks they're dead, it's a perfect cover for a robber. They can go out and commit more crimes, but because Chloe was the one brought them back to life, she wants all the money. So they go on a big robbing spree, fucking taking out stores, taking out banks, anything they can rob, these motherfuckers rob it. These motherfuckers start rotting up big time, fucking all, you know, and during the robberies they get shot, they get wounds, the one guy gets his fucking nose broke off, and that's another thing, the special effects for a low budget movie are good in this movie, man, they're real fucking good. There's all kinds of gruesome shit that happens, and it all looks really, it looks good for any movie, let alone a low budget movie, especially. Acting wise, this is a really good for an independent film. Three bank robber guys are real good. They got a good rapport. They're funny. You know, they're badass. They're, they make a good team. The cop, he was funny. He was kind of like a bumbling, hardball detective cop. He was good. But really, the, the thing that really makes this work is the character Chloe, played by Jameson John Tree. She was really good. I haven't seen her in any other movies. This might have been her first or one of her first. But for a newcomer, she did a really good job. And she really made the movie interesting. So basically, without spoiling it too much, obviously at some point shit goes going to go wrong. They don't want to fucking keep giving their money to the stripper. She wants to rip them off, take all the money. Shit's going to go down one way or another. And I'll tell you what, the end, the end, the last 20 minutes of the movie or so, shit gets really good. Lots of twists, lots of turns. You know, I'm not going to spoil it, but these guys did a good job writing and directing this thing. The story's good and original. The actors are good for a low budget movie. Special effects are good. Hey, they show a bunch of girls' boobs at the strip club. I mean, what more can you ask for? For the type of movie this was trying to be, low-budget, independent, but very entertaining at the same time, I'm going to have to give it 8 out of 10. I really liked it a lot. Picture and sound, this one is just a DVD, but it's got good... They shot this on HD video, so you know it's real clean, real clear. Ain't got no film grain. Looks like a modern, new movie. Looks nice. The sound is stereo sound from what I could tell, but it sounded good. You know, uh, being a low budget movie, they don't have like the sound design or whatever that Transformers does, but everything is real crisp and clear. It still sounds, you know, you can hear everything everybody says, all the gunshots, all the sound effects that they laid in were good. So, you know, picture and sound for a DVD, independent release, not too bad at all. I'm going to give it 7 out of 10. Then it comes to the special features. And this one has some real good ones. They got a documentary, shows all this behind the scenes footage of when they were making the movie and stuff. It shows a lot of Billy, how he was directing it, what he was thinking, everybody he was working with. But the thing that's really good about it is instead of just editing it together so it looks like hey, everything went smoothly, they show you the problems that come along with making a low budget movie and everything. You know, stuff, stuff that you wouldn't even think of like actor schedules fucking everything up, all kinds of stuff. So for all you people out there who want to 
grab your camcorder, go make a movie, whatever. I suggest not only see this because it's a good movie, but special features are really good. They'll kind of give you a primer of like what the fuck to expect when you go to make your low budget movie. They also got a really funny interview <laughs> with Billy Carrina. He's like laying on a couch. <laughs> he looks like he ain't slept for three days. His cats are jumping around trying to beat each other up. But it's good, man. It's a good little thing. Uh, there's another little special feature, Dan and Bill Get Nerdy. That was Billy and then the actor, Dan. They were just on the set talking about some, I don't know what the fuck they were talking about, some Nintendo Game Boy shit or something. <laughs> but, you know, it's just a lot of fun. Then they also have trailers on here, which does include the, the trailer for Stiff. So you have that. But also have all the trailers put out by the, the company that releases DVD. All kinds of good stuff, man. Good exploitation movies. I, there's probably like 15, 20 trailers on them. I watched them all. And, and a lot of them look like good movies. I'm going to have to check out more of these. There's also a commentary track. They don't say who's on it on here, but I remember it had Billy, it had Devin, had a couple other guys involved in movies. They, like I said, just like on the documentary, they tell you how it was, man. Hard making this movie, this kind of thing, this whatever. You know, this went wrong, we had to do this. Good commentary, let you know what the, the world of low budget independent filmmaking is like. Special features, man, for an independent movie, they went all out. They didn't bullshit you. Good special features. I went on special features, 8 out of 10. Anyway, so that's it for Stift. Go out, see it, man. You like, like I said, man. If if you're ready for something different, something new, a good, edgy, independent movie, you want to support that. You got to get this movie. You can buy it like I did off of Amazon.com. I'm sure, probably some other websites too. Also, uh, you can rent it at some video stores. I know on the website they said that Family Video bought a bunch of copies. So if you rent movies at Family Video, check out Stiff. But really, the best thing to do is just buy it. Help these motherfuckers out. They got some more movies coming out. One's called Rocka. It looks really good. I can't wait, man. Devin O'Leary, Billy Garrino, the independent filmmaking power team. I can't wait for more, guys. Anyway, that's it for Hillbilly DVD Reviews. Go out, get a couple beers, rob a couple banks with your buddies. Go to the strip club, spend that money. But watch out for that fucking blue pack die, man, because that shit will blow up in your face and you'll be fucked.